It is week six of the NFL season, and if you need some quick cash, we might be able to help you yes, out. Yes, John's here with our tiny sports betting expert in the latest <laughs> installment of Child's Play. She is tiny, but she has insights. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't know how, but she does. You know, guys, we took last week off. I took the family to Las Vegas mm -hmm. to visit the in-laws. Ironically, I wouldn't put in three bets on my own. Lost all three of them. <laughs> so listen to what the four-year-old says, because last time out, we went two and one, so we're now seven and two on the year. Wow. I need to actually start betting her yes, picks. Yes, yes, you should. Let's get into it. Game one, guys, Patriots at the Raiders. Did you ever think you'd see the day when these two teams would meet and the Patriots would be the one that's in shambles right now. New England has been outscored 72 to three in the last two weeks. Oh. And now there's talk, this may be Bill Belichick's last year in New England. That it's 71 years old, he's getting too old. Now if he leaves New England, Washington has been a rumored uh, landing spot. Oh. You know, but people are saying. Not too old for Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That's the joke. Oh, I'm sorry. Unclear whether that meant the football team or the Senate. Sorry. Wait, wait. You Dabkovich. I Dabkovich you. I'm sorry. Because he does it to you all the time doing dad jokes. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes. Actually, awesome. actually, do you want to hear the rewritten joke that I had that apparently didn't make it into the final sure, version? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, 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 oh, it was uh, Belichick. You know, the job's too stressful. Too much hangs in the balance. It's... <laughs> It's time for him to face reality and run for Senate. <laughs> Sorry. He's off to a great start. I don't know the joke I wrote was him. I don't know what happened. Anyway, meanwhile, the Raiders head coach Josh McDaniels has also been on the hot seat. Now, they beat Green Bay Monday night to improve to 2-3, and three, but it didn't seem like Raiders owner Mark Davis loved what he was seeing because this we're about to show you is Davis after the Raiders kicked that field goal you saw there on uh, fourth and goal, apparently he didn't like it. Uh, we can't. Be, it's pretty clear what he's saying, lip reading wise. Uh -oh. We can't really show it, uh, uh, but it kind of rhymes with Grasshoff. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of talk on the internet too was who was this young lady sitting next to him. Uh, but I'm sure he thinks that she thinks his jokes are very hilarious. <laughs> but here's the big news in all this. I don't care about that. Guys, his haircut's coming back. Remember last year? Yeah. The oh, show that he shaved his right. head? Yeah. He's going with the acorn bottom again. Oh, no. The acorn bottom. Bless anyway. Uh, Bless him. Point is, the Raiders are favored by three at home with this. Here's the child's play. <laughs> all right, here we go. Patriots and Raiders. Who you got? Oh, uh, Patriots. Patriots, Patriots plus three. Yeah. Uh, I should point out, I forgot to do this yesterday, so <laughs> shout out to my wife for shooting this this morning before school. <laughs> before school. My daughter has to be the only, barely awake. the only kid in TK who was picking football games before <laughs> class today. Oh, my gosh. Please don't call CPS. All right, let's go game two, guys. Cowboys and the Chargers. The Cowboys lost to the Niners 42-10 to last week, despite having Trey Lance who less than two months ago was a 49er, so theoretically should have some inside info to share with his teammates. Apparently it didn't matter. The only highlight for the Cowboys was this meme of a Cowboys fan looking miserable. <laughs> Still don't know who he was calling, but you know, they say misery loves company. Uh -huh. And Cowboys fans should have plenty of that at SoFi this week. It is expected to be a heavily Cowboys yeah. fan there. The Chargers had a bye week last week. People of LA might have even forgotten they had a team. <laughs> wow. So the Cowboys are favored by three over the Chargers at SoFi. Here's the child's play. And now we have Cowboys and Chargers. No, that's what I'm going to pick. Who are you going to pick? <laughs> the Chargers. Yeah. Oh, daddy's team. She picks daddy's team. Okay, uh, guys, Chiefs and Broncos tonight is our final game. Mm -hmm. Listen, I know you're all sick of the Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift coverage. Over it. So that's why we're going to focus on Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Rogers, a future Hall of Famer, vaccine skeptic, and no lover of the spotlight, got his piece of the trailer Travis Shine this week. Uh -huh. uh, last week during his weekly appearance on the Pat McAfee show, he called Kelsey Mr. Pfizer because he appears in ads promoting the COVID-19 uh, yeah. vaccine. Kelsey then responded by saying he never expected he would be in a vax war with Aaron Rodgers. 
So this is what Rogers had to say during this week's appearance on Pat McAfee show. This ain't a war, homie. This is just conversation. But if you want to have some sort of uh, duel debate, what? have me on the podcast. Come on the show. Let's have a conversation. Oh. Oh. Okay, so here's what Rogers has suggested because he wants to have this debate. Uh, he suggested they pair up and debate in teams. Rogers said he would go with RFK Jr. versus Fou uh, Kelsey and Anthony Fauci. This is the state of of sports discourse this is where we are days. now yeah now what does this have to do with tonight's game uh -huh. i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but for the second week in a row we have done a chiefs game without showing any football video <laughs> <laughs> we're on a roll yeah anyway the broncos stink the chiefs are favored by 10 and a half at home tonight here's the child's play okay last one kansas city and denver Ooh. The Broncos. Whoa. 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 I mean, they're getting ten and a half. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a short week. Kelsey yeah. hurt his his ankle yeah. last week. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? So to recap, we're going Pats uh, plus three, uh, Chargers plus three, Broncos plus ten and a half. Okay, place your bets. And also to recap. I'm almost certain my daughter is the only kid in her cat class that was picking games this morning. Before. Oh, you'd be surprised, John. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> you would be surprised. I suppose as long as she's not taking bets, it's cool. <laughs> it's okay. Why do you want to wear a visor to school? I don't yeah. understand.